Back to all in law. This is a quick internal medicine. And today we're going to talk about a topic related to EKG, electrocardiogram. So today we're going to talk about the a positive wave, that's a U wave. Right? So the U wave in EKG, it is seen after the T waves. If this is a P, Q, R, S, T, here you see a wave that's known as a U wave. This is a P, this is a Q, this is R, this is S, and this is T. And this is what you call a U wave. Okay, guys? So remember this U wave, it's not usually seen in normally in UKG, okay, UKG. So there are some leads where you can see prominently what you call U waves. They are anterior chest leads, anterior chest leads, which are those, the common are V2 to V4 v2 to v4 remember in these leads you can see u waves right but remember the basic rule is that we don't have the size or the width of the what you call the u wave like we have for r waves right we don't have the size precise size for this okay so what is the cause for the u wave though it is they say what you call it this is due to what your repolarization of interventricular septum Repolarization of interventricular septum interventricular septum this is by no means certain okay remember Though it is said by it is due to the repolarization of interventricular septum, if this is a heart, or this is a septum over here, okay, these are the walls, and this is the what you call the interventricular septum he is here, right? So interventricular septum between the two ventricles. So it is due to what it causes a U wave, right? Although, you know, uh, it is suggested that the U wave is caused by, as I said, the repolarization of the interventricular septum, this is by no means certain, okay? And the other point you have to remember for U waves are, U waves are small point in the same direction as the preceding T wave. What does it mean? If the T wave is positive, means U wave will be positive. If the T wave is inverted, U wave will be inverted. Okay? Right, guys? So let's talk. What's the question that you should ask whenever you see the U waves? The question you should ask is Are the v U waves too prominent? Are they too prominent? Okay? That, because you know there are some diseases that can cause that can give what's called a uh, u-wave prominent right so what are the causes for that so remember the three important conditions where you see u-waves prominent okay one is a hypokalemia low potassium then we have hyperkalemia high calcium high blood calcium okay low K plus is a hypokalemia and hyperthyroidism so if you see what you call prominent U waves think of hypokalemia it could be or hyperkalemia or it could be hyperthyroidism so what you have to do is, you have to look the other EKG findings of hypokalemia. 
like it will be associated with what you call a small T waves, depression of ST segment, and first degree AV atrioventricular block, AV block, right? But what you have to do, check the levels of the blood potassium level and treat accordingly, right? And for hyperkalasemia, you see the prominent U waves. Along with that, the most important characteristic of hyperkalasemia is shortening of the QT interval. The QT interval is very shortened, right? That's the characteristics. So you have to see, if you see prominent U waves with a shortening of the QT interval, just check the blood calcium level. Okay, guys? Regarding the hyperthyroidism, it's not due to the hyperthyroidism, it's due to the tachycardia. Sometimes prominent U waves in association with what you call tachycardia should strike your mind to think of hyperthyroidism could be there. So check the levels of T3, T4 and TSH. Okay guys, so prominent U waves, the causes are hypokalemia, that's a low potassium in the body, hyperkalasemia, hypercalcium in the body and hyperthyroidism. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.